Okay then, so roll of placement yet again. I know Jay touched on this last time and it is really important that you get your pole roller set up right so that you don't have to change them throughout the day. Now, in an ideal situation, you know, commercials that you go to have all got nice, lovely flat banks. So you put your first roller sort of offset and then your other one sort of offset from that again. So your pole's coming back at a nice angle, just like Jay took you through last time. However, today on the arena, if you pan round, Rich, pan round later on, you see like we've got high banking so this is when you need these real tall rollers they do come into play a lot on here and the beauty of our rollers is you can interchange the legs proper so what we've got here again we've got a nice high roller um short sort of like six meters back say something like that and then the other one is six meters back behind that exactly the same way as jay taught you out last time except we're just on that bit of an angle the reason we need the height here is to lift it up and over the mound so let me show you how the the pole's going to ship out when we've got our top kit on so what we want to make sure is when we're shipping in or out or certainly back with the fish that our pole's nice and low so you see the angle i've got on this pole when i'm shipping out it's going to come off that roll i'm not going to feel the bounce of it whatsoever it's just going to be nice and smooth now obviously when we're out there we've hooked into a great big wobbly fish we're shipping back you see how low we can keep that pole it's one look behind us make sure we're on that roller and look how lovely and low that pole is that's perfect that's what you want if your pole's up here somewhere that's no good and what you'd have to, to do if you didn't have sort of this setup, if you just had two normal rollers, not, not the higher one, you'd have to be breaking down twice. And obviously it's much quicker if you can leave your pole intact, uh, you won't have any problems whatsoever. That goes in the pole sock and then you're straight into it. As I say, if you didn't have this setup, breaking down twice, it's going to cost you time throughout the match. So make sure you pay more attention to how your, how your rollers are set up. And also this short one here for when I'm fishing on my short line, just talk you through that, we'll bring that down is set higher which is perfect because we're going to be catching a lot of eyed short now with eyed i don't bother unshipping whatsoever so what i'll be doing i'll be hooking to the fish shipping back putting that pole on on that first roller and then just shipping it all the way back lifting it high so i can scoop the fish because obviously fish like eyed and skimmers they don't fight obviously if we hook a carp we're going to be unshipping but with eyed i always have my first roller set nice and high uh, and that, that's that's the beauty of these as I say these tall rollers so pay special attention to it and you won't have a problem at all